Dramatic plane videos are a common genre on the internet. We've all seen footages of apparently insane and terrifying plane landings. That plane's going to crash is all that comes to mind while we watch these. However, once all of it subsides, you realize that you're much more likely to crash on a skateboard. Moreover, it's the possibility of crashing that makes people scared of these landings. And I've got a list of close shaves just for you. Join me as I take you through the most insane plane landings ever seen. Number three, Dusseldorf Airport. Dusseldorf Airport seems to have its fair share of crazy landings. Over the years, dozens of insane plane landings have been reported from the airport. From A380s to small props, no planes are immune from Dusseldorf's high intensity winds. In one such instance, in January 2018, a brave pilot attempted a dangerous landing amid extremely windy and stormy conditions. The small Eurowings passenger aircraft that took off from Bologna in Italy was trying to land at Germany's Dusseldorf, but it was caught in the crosswinds caused by the storm. As it prepared to land, the plane tilted sideways several times with the powerful winds bending its wings. As a result, the pilot was forced to do a go-around to tackle the severe conditions on the runway. After circling around the airport, the pilot attempted a second touchdown on the runway. Although he managed to land the second time, at one point the plane was almost at a 90-degree angle with the runway, and it seemed like a major crash was about to happen. But fortunately, the pilot successfully maneuvered through the bad weather and managed to land safely while keeping all the passengers secured. Number 2. JetBlue Flight 292 Carrying 140 passengers and six crew, JetBlue Flight 292 was a scheduled flight from Bob Hope Airport in Burbank, California to John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City. In September 2005, Captain Scott Burke executed an emergency landing in the Airbus A320-200 at LA International Airport after the nose gear jammed in an abnormal position. After taking off from Burbank, the pilots realized that they could not retract the landing gear. They then flew low over Long Beach Municipal Airport, which was the location of a JetBlue hub, to allow officials in the airport's control tower to assess the damage to its landing gear before attempting a landing. It was found that the nose wheel was rotated 90 degrees to the left, perpendicular to the direction of the fuselage. Rather than land at Long Beach, the pilot in command made the decision that the aircraft would land at LA International in order to take advantage of its long, wide runways and modern safety equipment. The pilots flew the aircraft in a figure eight pattern between Bob Hope and LA for more than two hours in order to burn the 46,000 pounds of fuel and lower the risk of fire upon landing. This also served to lighten the plane, reducing potential stress on the landing gear and dramatically lowering landing speed as well. Upon landing, the pilot kept the plane on its rear tires for as long as he could before he eventually brought the nose gear down. When the nose gear did touch, there were sparks and flames but no apparent damage was caused to the rest of the plane. That's the tires burning out there. And number one, Miracle on the Hudson. On January 15, 2009, a potential disaster turned into a heroic display of skill and composure when Captain Chesley Burnett Sullenberger III safely landed the plane he was piloting on New York City's Hudson River after a bird strike caused its engines to fail. About a minute after taking off from New York's LaGuardia Airport January 15, 2009, U.S. Airways Flight 1549 collided with one of the aviation industry's most threatening foes, a flock of geese. Crippled by the bird strike, both engines lost power and went quiet, forcing Sullenberger to make an emergency landing. When air traffic controllers instructed the seasoned pilot to head for nearby Teterboro Airport, he calmly informed them that he was unable to reach a runway. We're going to be in the Hudson, he said simply and then told the 150 terrified passengers and five crew members on board to brace for impact. 90 seconds later, Solenberger guided the Airbus 320 over the George Washington Bridge and onto the chilly surface of the Hudson River. We've seen all of it in Tom Hanks' Sully the Movie. So what do you think? Which of these was the craziest of landings you've ever come across? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and like us. I'll see you next time on the channel. Until then, it's goodbye.